Hello students, today we'll start our chapter number 10, that is profit, loss, discount and weight. You have studied about these two topics, profit and loss, in the previous class, that is your class 7. But today, in our class 8 again, we'll be solving more questions on this profit and loss. And we'll come about discount and weight in the latter part of the chapter. But for now, let me give an introduction to this profit and loss. For this, let us read few sentences, few lines. Yeah, here we have now. There was a shopkeeper. He purchased a bicycle for rupees 2000 and sold for rupees 2500. Okay, here, let's see. This shopkeeper, he has bought what? A bicycle. For how much? For rupees 2000. So, the cost price. Cost price means we can write here CP. CP is how much? Rupees 2000. And sold for rupees 2500. Now, what happened? He bought this bicycle for rupees 2000. And again, he sold by how much? 2500. So, selling price. Selling price, we can write here SP. SP is how much? Rupees 2500. Okay, so we have seen that there is a difference between the cost price and the selling price. Here we find selling price is bigger than cost price. That means there is a profit. So let me write the formula for profit. Profit equal to how much? selling price minus cost price okay so i'll just deduct from this example now what happened let us set one condition now this shopkeeper bought the bicycle by just rupees 2000 okay and then what happened he sold this bicycle by how much by let me say rupees 1200 Okay, at this time what happened? Cost price is bigger than selling price. Then there will be loss. So how we are going to find the loss? Loss means cost price minus selling price. So don't forget, there will be profit when selling price is bigger than cost price. So what is the formula for finding the profit? Selling price minus cost price. Okay, and when there is loss, loss will happen when cost price is bigger than selling price. Okay, see here, cost price is bigger than selling price, so there is loss. What is the formula for finding the loss? Cost price minus selling price. Now I'm going to introduce two more formula here. The first one is profit. percent and the second is loss percent okay let us observe what is profit percent first for this i need to give you some example example number one cost price is let me say just 500 and Selling price is rupees, let me say, 550. Okay. The second example. Cost price is, let me say, 1000. And the selling price is 800. In the first example, what we find here is cost price is smaller than selling price that means selling price is bigger than cost price i told you before when selling price is bigger than cost price there will be definitely profit so what is a profit let us see profit means selling price minus cost price so what is selling price here 550 so 500 50 
minus what is the cost price we have 500 so how much we'll have now we'll have profit is 50 rupees 50 and what about the second example in the second example what happened we have cost price is 1000 and the selling price is 800 cost price is bigger than selling price so there will be loss so how we are going to find loss here loss means cost price minus selling price so what is the cost price cost price is 1000 so rupees 1000 minus I'll drag the screen a little bit okay then we have how much now 800 rupees 800 so 1000 minus 800 means we have rupees 200 okay first let me come to profit percent so how we are going to find profit percent here profit percent means profit divided by cost price into 100 and then definitely you should get here percent okay so what is the profit here the profit is 50 what is the cost price the cost price is just 500 into okay I'll just put one bracket here okay and then here is 100 so let us see now I can cancel 0 0 and this 0 0 and then here how much 5 10 so this is 10 percent in this case the cost price is actually 500 rupees 500 and now what happened when we find the profit percent this is what 10 percent 10 percent means if the cost price is 100 rupees then you'll be getting the profit of how much 10 so now this is 500 for every 100 you are getting 10 10 as the profit so in 500 what happened how many hundreds will be there 100 100 100 100 100 1 2 3 4 5 that means 100 200 300 400 500 for every 100 you are getting the profit as 10 so here you'll be getting 10 as a profit again 10 as a profit again 10 as a profit again 10 as a profit and again 10 as the profit so 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 how much you are getting now 50 okay I hope you are clear with the concept of profit percent here in this case what happened profit percent is 10 percent 10 percent means for every hundred you'll be getting profit as 10 so when it is 500 what happened I just show you elaborately 500 can be written as 100 five times two times three times four times five times for every hundred you'll be getting profit 10 again 10 again 10 again 10 again 10 so finally what happened you are getting 50 as the profit okay so let me come to the second example now this is your second example so in this case in the second case what happened there is loss the loss is here 200 so now let us find the loss percent loss percent loss percent how to find loss divided by cost price into 100 so percent means definitely percent will come out when we find so what is the loss loss is 200 divided by what is the cp 1000 into 100 so when you calculate you'll be getting as a percent only so let us cancel now 0 0 0 0 and then we'll cancel like this again this 0 this 0 cancel so that what happened we get here 20 percent so here the loss percent is 20 percent what does it mean for every hundred you'll be getting a loss of how much 20 so let's observe this example carefully I'll show you now okay so 1000 you can write here 10 times 100 
for every 100 rupees for every 100 you'll be getting a loss of how much 20 so here 20 here 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 so what is the total lost 20 how many times 10 times so the loss will be 200 here loss percent means for every 100 of the cost price how much loss you get here loss percent is 20 percent that means for every 100 you'll be getting a loss of 20 rupees that is the meaning i'll read the question for you rajat bought a video game of rupees 700 what happened this boy this man bought a video game for how much rupees 700 this is your cost price and sold it of rupees 735 and what happened he sold again by how much 735 find his profit and profit percent you are asked to find the profit and again profit percent okay now let's see carefully the question is telling you to find the profit why in this question what happened selling price is bigger than cost price therefore there will be definitely profit and you are asked to find again the profit percent okay let's start the solution here you can write cost price how much rupees 700 and what is the selling price we have rupees 700 35 therefore profit what is the formula for profit selling price minus cost price equal to what is selling price rupees 700 35 minus what is the cost price rupees 700 so if you subtract you'll be getting how much 35 is the profit now we know the profit so we will continue to answer now next we are going to find profit percent profit percent profit percent you can write in words or you can write in the form of symbol nothing wrong what is the formula for profit percent profit divided by cp cp means cost price into 100 so you're sure to get here percent so what is the profit profit means 35 what is the cost price 700 then into 100 then there should be percent equal to we can cancel 00, zero then 00, zero. so 717 75 35 so we have here 5 percent monica bought a television for rupees 8000 first i'll write here monica bought a television of rupees 8000 so cost price will be how much rupees 8000 and sold it of rupees 8240 selling price will be how much rupees 8240 okay next find her profit and profit percent therefore profit profit will be how much so what is the formula for profit first profit means selling price minus cost price so selling price here how much 8240 minus what is the cp cost price is 8000 so that difference is how much 240 now we need the profit once we know the profit we can proceed to finding the profit percent profit percent what is the formula profit divided by cp into 100 then there should be percent so what is the profit here 
profit is 240 and what about the cost price cost price is 8000 8000 here 100 then percent okay so let us cancel now we can cancel this 0 0 and then 0 0 and again we can cancel here 0 0 so next 8 1 is 8 8 3 24 so this is what 3 percent question number 3 Rajni bought a wristwatch of rupees 3000 and sold it of rupees 2880 find her Loss and loss percent. First, let us write the information given in the question. We know the CP cost price by how much she bought by 3000 so rupees 3000 and sold it of rupees 2880 selling price rupees 2880. You are asked to find the loss, therefore loss equal to cost price minus selling price don't forget there will be loss when cp is greater than sp okay so what is cp here three thousand three zero 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 minus what is the sp here selling price we have two thousand eight hundred eighty so how much will be then rupees 120 so she is getting a loss of 120 okay now we have got the loss and then next we are going to find the loss percent loss percent loss divided by cp into 100 and then there will be percent what is the loss loss is 120 what is the CP here? 2000, sorry, 3000. Okay, into 100, then here, percent. We are going to cancel now. I can cancel this 0, 0, and then this 0, 0. At the last, you can cancel again 0 and this 0. Then we have now 12 by 3. So, 3 for how much? 12. So, the lowest percent is 4 percent we have question before alok bought a washing machine of rupees 10,000 and sold it of rupees 9,300 find his loss and loss percent first let us write what are the given in the question CP is given to you what is the cost price 10,000 so let's write 10,000 and what is the selling price here SP is 9,300 9,300 and we are asked to find the loss therefore loss is how much CP minus SP here the selling price sorry here the cost price is 10,000 so we can write here 10,000 minus what is the sp here 9300 okay equal to how much will we have just 700 and we need to write the rupees here okay uh, pay attention here let me tell you one important thing instead of writing rupees 10000 minus rupees 900 you can write even in this form just write rupees here and inside the bracket you can write 10000 minus 9300 like this also you can write okay now we have got the loss next we are going to find loss percent loss percent what is the formula loss divided by cp into hundred definitely you'll be getting in percent so what is the loss here loss is 700 and what is the CP CP is 10,000 then into 
hundred. So there will be percent. Now we can cancel zero zero then zero zero. And again we can cancel zero 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 zero. So we have now seventh percent.